Hi guys, Sarah here, and uh, Rinska, Donna, and I are doing uh, part two of the three do's and three don'ts challenge. What this challenge is all about is she gives me three do's, things that I can do or am to do, and then she also gives me a list of things that I cannot do. So let's get right to the point, and I'm going to tell you what she has challenged me um, this time around. So the first thing is uh, I am to use two complementary colors. The second thing is to do um, a piece using a dustpan. And the third thing that I can, um, that I'm to do is to self mix one of my colors. Um, now for the don'ts. Uh, it, she says that I um, am not to use more than five colors. Uh, I cannot use just one color to layer my cup. And the third don't is do not uh, do a center design. So I am recording this post painting and post challenge. Uh, <laughs> what I thought was gonna be somewhat of an easy task for me, I've learned otherwise. Uh, I use a lot more colors typically in my pores. So limiting what I could and could not do uh, really, really was tough, but uh, challenge accepted. Thank you very much, Rinska. And uh, I wish you luck on yours. Also in the meantime, so we are gonna um, get to the video in just a moment, but I wanted to forewarn you that at the some point in this video, uh, we have a little special surprise. So please keep watching. Subscribe if you so feel inclined, if you're a new, um, viewer to my channel and uh, be sure to check out Rinska's uh, channel after this. Her link will be in my video description box and you can see what I challenged her to do and you know I think you're going to be in for a real nice surprise. All right I hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you at the end. All right, guys, so we are gonna start with um, a couple of things. I mentioned the rules before that she set for me, uh, the do's and the don'ts. And um, I wanna first tell you that my base color is Golden's Payne's Gray, right here. And I mixed this with um, a Ceramco, uh, Ceramco Delta Select um, sorry, metallic navy. Um, so it has a beautiful metallic sheen to it. Um, my my complementary colors are uh, yellow green by Amsterdam, and I mix that with Liquitex uh, yellow green because the Amsterdam one is a little bit brighter, and I wanted that vibrancy. But but this is also bright, so I figured a cross of these two colors would be good. This color here is a self mixed red. Uh, violet. Um, I used some fluorescent violet with um, white and some carmine red, I believe it is, by Amsterdam. And I came out with this really beautiful paint color. Um, so those are my complementary colors. And then I have the 24K gold and I have my white mixed two parts Floetrol to one part paint with some of the satin enamel in it. So this is what we're gonna do. Um, mine is the dustpan pour. My son for Christmas got me this really big one. Um, but because it's so big, I won't be able to utilize the whole bit. So I've created a barrier so that I'm only using this part and we'll bring it across this way. I have my other dustpan ready to go if I need to add a couple of colors in another cup to add some more paint. So that won't be a problem. The other thing she did say is that I had to use two cups to layer my paints in. So what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to layer the two cups with these four colors and I am going to do maybe a kiss pour or something like that. We'll see how it works out or maybe a couple of ring pours. 
um, in that area of the dustpan and drag it up, drag it across. If I don't think that's going to work out, you'll see that. <laughs> so first we're going to start layering the cups and we're going to start with these and an extra cup for backup. And we're going to add some white. And gold. And white. And gold. We're going to come right in with my red violet mix. And over here too. I didn't put as much white in this cup, but just, that's just how it worked out. I don't think I need a whole lot. I'm just gonna do a little bit of the gold because I don't want it overpowering. I'm going to add a little bit of white there in each one. And then do the yellow green. Now, I'm not sure if you've noticed, I have a very large canvas in front of me. It is 30 inches by 30 inches. I painted the edges so that there was no missing color on the corners. And, um, and then I flooded it with my Payne's Gray Metallic Navy mix. So big but I figured it would work um, yeah. going to be interesting. <laughs> could already tell. All right, so let me get these sticks out of here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is come over there and just tilt this back just a smidge to come over the back edge and tilt it this way a bit. We're going to come down. Now it can't be centered, so that is what we're going for now. And from what I can tell, it is not.
I love how there's just one really big drip there. Get some paper towel here. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the blue paint and sort of feed into that to push it back more. I think actually we're going to come forward some. And then we're going to come back. I know you can't see, but Okay, I'm just sort of creating some kind of composition in here. I like that better. And now we're going to come over here. Just wondering what you guys think. I would love to bring you in at this minute, but we are going to have to wait a few more minutes. Just taking off my gloves. And we're going to put on another pair because I'll have some stuff to do here. I'm going to clean up the back edge off camera, which isn't a big deal. Um, but. I'm thinking there needs to be a little bit of blue right here. I think I'm done. I think this is probably one of my favorite ones. I can't wait to bring you guys in. Um, so I'm gonna wipe my hands off. The gloves 
And then we are going to bring you guys in. Yay! Okay, everybody, look how pretty this is. The pinks and golds and greens and white. Um, the lighting I have in here is rather yellow. So the gold is actually absolutely gorgeous in this piece. And it adds just a little bit extra to everything. The cells are beautiful. I have green gold striped and circled cells. And this cluster in here is just so cool. So this is the largest dustpan pour I have done. And I'm really, really sorry for the glare. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really love this piece and I'm really excited to show you the dried results. All right, folks, so here we are. Here's the final piece. It's got this beautiful sheen to it from the uh, metallics that I mixed with the Payne's Gray. And there's a bit of a gold sheen going on here. We have been having pretty bad weather up here and it's cold and it's been rainy and it's been sleety and snowy and <laughs> anything else you can imagine, it's probably happened. But um, with that being said, uh, this is such a beautiful piece in the light and I'm super happy with it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because we really enjoy doing this challenge. So, next, I am going to make an announcement. Okay, so here it is. This is the final part of this video. Rinsk and I have discussed and decided that in this video, at the end, we are going to challenge other artists. And I hope this artist accepts the challenge. So, drum roll please. Karen Dershin of Waterfall Acrylics. Will you accept the challenge of the three do's and three don'ts? You and I, let's give it a go. Bye.